Hey, this is Chuck. <laughs> and I am here with the guys from Ogma Brewing in Jackson, Michigan. You guys are running your Kickstarter today. How's it going so far? It's been a good Excellent. start. Yeah, pretty Killing strong. It. It. Yeah. yeah, feeling it? it I mean, I, I can feel the vibe out there, and I just imagine that you guys are feeling good. Two days in, uh, you have almost like $13,000 yeah. out of the twenty-five, yeah. so that's got to feel good. Yeah, it's encouraging. Way awesome. above our expectations. Not, did not see that coming. It's very no, not at awesome. Yeah. So uh, I know you did the question and answer out there, but uh, for people that don't know, what what is Agma? Yeah. Um, well, you know, Agma is a small brewery here in Jackson. The name came from uh, it's a mythological god. He's the god of communication and language. Um, in, you know, Community is at the core of this brewery, so we felt like communication and language are two essential parts for building the community. Awesome, awesome. So um, Jackson is, you know, it's obviously been hit hard from the economic downturn that's been going on for a long period of time. Uh, Jackson has, you know, kept coming around. Um, but what was it that made you guys want to invest in this city? I mean, that's, uh, outside of all of us. From Jackson, I think uh, I think there's just a, a lot of a lot of um, I don't want to say youth, but people our age that are trying to do something, trying to make something happen here in Jackson. And um, there's just a lot of uh, overwhelming support for that, and we want to be a part of that. We want yeah, to, you know, be a part of that community and help revitalize Jackson and bring something unique to Jackson. Right. So I think that's uh, a big part of, of Agma and uh, yeah. our yeah. Yeah. ethos. Yeah, there's a, just like a lot of creative energy coming into the town, and you know, we fall right in line with that. So we just want to be part of that. Yeah. So I know you guys are trying to, you know, in addition to like the craft brew spirit of, you know, brewing good beer, um, you're also trying to embrace the arts community. What, what kind of uh, activities are you planning for the brewery once you get open to, uh, you know, embrace the community of artists that are in the area? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, a big part of it, you know, is going to be music. We, we, we want to have bands. Um, the, the artwork that we deck this place out in is going to come from Jackson for the most part. We've got a lot of really strong artists here. And, uh, just holding, you know, semi-small uh, semi shows yeah. on a regular, you know, monthly, every other monthly basis would be a good goal of ours that we're going for. But, yeah, um, other projects, you know, art-related projects that we plan on doing. We want to be eventually in a spot where we can put together bigger shows. Right. Possibly at, you know, the Michigan Theater here in town. Yeah, the Michigan Theater, that's a great spot. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. So, you know, I don't know if we would just be sort of a uh, production company from that standpoint. But right. We really want to curate, you know, some bigger events. Awesome. Yeah, that's just collaborating with, with the community, collaborating with other Jackson businesses. Yeah. Bring more of that to Jackson. So, um, so craft brew is kind of, um, you, just, you know, it started off where it was uh, kind of a niche, you know, where people were like, oh, this is craft brew. And then it kind of got to the point, and I don't know if you feel this, the same way, but um, people are experimenting to the nth degree with like the ingredients and what they're doing with the beer, um, which is which is cool and some people are also like well I just want an IPA or I just want <laughs> yeah, this yeah. so wh what is uh, what is your goal as far as the beers you plan to make well you know I I have a lot of mixed feelings about it and, I mean I, I think at the heart of craft brewing is uh, creativity and having that creative freedom to right. experiment with different ingredients um, but I think there's a lot of saturation and, and like almost to the point where it's like homogenous for IPA is so popular and everybody's doing right. IPA. I'd like to, to experiment and almost take it back to what it used to be in some way where you have more than just an IPA. You, know, you, can, right. you can do a nice crispy, snappy Pilsner or brown ale or more, uh, I guess, timeless like classic styles. But like I said in the video, it's not we're not going to like pigeonhole ourselves to one style we want to do. Yeah. Whatever, whatever is inspiring to us. Yeah, yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to kind of keep the video nice and short and sweet so people can uh, enjoy, but uh, 
So each of you, what, what, what is your favorite breakfast food? Kevin, I'm going to start with you. Breakfast food? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. <laughs> breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Breakfast burrito. Specific to San Diego, um, <laughs> Buccaneer Park. It's actually um, Oceanside, California, San Diego, Buccaneer Park, uh, Breakfast Burrito. Awesome. You're trying to keep this short. That's not a good question. <laughs> Don't ask me that. You can talk about burritos for hours. I, I, we actually were talking about starting just like a breakfast burrito. Just oh, oh really? <laughs> so now, honestly, that would be awesome. I know. That's, I, yeah. I love breakfast yeah. burritos so much. That's, that would be awesome. I mean, you could have them all day. Yeah. It would be, yeah. So good. Yeah, I'm, I like traditional, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I like, you know, hash browns. Meat, meat, potatoes, and eggs. <laughs> toast. Sourdough toast. Awesome. awesome. Can't go wrong with that. I, Andy? I don't have much time in the morning, so if I get a piece of toast with butter, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good to go. Yeah. Awesome. Well, guys, I, I wish you the best. I'm, I'm sure this is going to be a great place. I'm super excited about it. I'm sure everybody that's watching is going to be super excited. Everybody that's, I mean, you got a, a big community of people there behind you, so I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks,